Howdy YouTube. So if you were just on my Facebook page, I tried to go live. I'm still in my old shop. And if you haven't heard, I've moved and I'm gonna be going into a brand new shop. I can't wait for that. But for now, I wanted to do a live unboxing of my brand new toy from Surf Prep. And it wasn't going so well with internet because we don't have internet at my current location anymore. So what I decided to do was hop over on YouTube record my unboxing, kind of show you a little bit about what we got going on. So Surf Prep has a brand new vacuum, amazing, all different kind of bells and whistles and things that I'm gonna do a follow-up YouTube video on to kind of show you a little bit more in depth. But as I like to do when I get a brand new toy, something especially like this, I like to just show you what you're paying for. So you bought your Surf Prep vacuum, what is gonna be in the box? How is it gonna be to put together? I know I've had a couple of different shop vacs over the, the years and stuff like that. And sometimes they're kind of a pain in the butt to put together. Um, you know, what go connects here, what connects there, all that kind of jazz. So what we're going to do is just pull it out of the box, show you how easy it will be to initially just kind of set up. And then we'll go from there as far as, you know, doing additional videos later on usage of, you know, I'm even going to do more of like decimal levels so you know how loud or not it is. What I understand is things are quite a bit quieter than your normal big box store vacuum, which is a huge selling point for me. Self-cleaning, all kinds of really cool features that will separate this from what's out there currently. So we're gonna get straight to it and just start unboxing. As you can see, I already started on my live <laughs> and the internet just was not working today. So I already have it uh, cut open. And then we're gonna just start pulling stuff out. So very first thing is gonna be the bags. Uh, let's see, how what is this looking like? Looks like I need to rip this one open, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see here. Yep. I'm gonna pop this open and I'll show you what this looks like. I've seen one small video, but that's all even I've seen. So it's gonna be kind of new eyes for me along with you guys here on YouTube to show. Wow, that's pretty fancy. Oh, okay. So this, these are going to be the bags. Um, they're special bags. I'm not sure all the details. I'm going to pull the sh the cheat sheet, if you want to call it, that's in this box out here in a second. But I did see this. This thing, if you've ever used a shop vac, it's normally like uh, cardboard or something where it can bend and twist and break ultimately. And then it also has a cap. So you can pop this guy on the inside. And when you pop it off, instead of having the dust and stuff like that come out, you can immediately pop on a little cover, which I think is really cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so that initial bag I pulled out is just the bags that go on the inside of your shop bag. So we're gonna set this down right here. And then, let's see, what's next? We got a little adapter doohickey. Okay, here's gonna be surf prep. POV 8, Professional On-Site Vacuum 8-Gallon. So it's an 8-Gallon, okay, that's good. Let's see, what do we got? Is there a checklist or things I can look at that I can walk through with you guys? Okay, so it's got all the instructions, kind of walks you through all the steps you need to take, set it up, which is gonna be really easy. One of the things I saw in the video before the unboxing that Skylar from Surf Prep was doing it's, well, there's a, a few things, but one of the coolest parts is you can actually plug in your surf prep directly into the sander and it has the auto on off function where when you turn the surf prep on, it turns the vacuum on. That's cool. So, all right. So the next inside that bag is also the adapter. I'm pretty sure this connects to, if I remember correctly, connects to your surf prep directly like this. So this is your adapter. And of course it goes counterclockwise. I always forget that point. Counterclockwise to connect everything together. So you plug in this little adapter into your actual surf prep sanding system, whichever one works on any one. And then you're gonna put the hose onto this. So let me just do this real quick. Screw this guy in place. So that goes on there like that, really easy. Definitely gonna need another one for my five inch. And then we have the back axle, which is really cool because it's going to have the front, will have the 
uh, other than the more rotating wheel style, and then the back one just a straight axle. Okay, I don't need that. Okay, we'll put this on the side. I'm gonna pull this guy out of here. I want to understand. It's a 24 pounds, I think is what he said, and it does not feel heavy. So that's pretty good. This is definitely a portable version. Okay, we're gonna flip this guy upside down. We're gonna take the bag off. Don't need this. And then we're gonna take the top off first. I'm gonna flip it back around. It's got the little latches on the side. Get out of here, the plastic. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Check that out. Okay, so we're gonna pop these over. And then what I understand is the suction on this thing is really good, so you're gonna to have to give it a good little tug to get it separated from, there we go, from the base. But you're gonna to need to take the top off first to get into the inside where you're gonna get your hose. And there you are, the other wheels. So you've got other wheels, so we'll open this bag first. This bag's gonna come with wheels and they have little stoppers on it, so that's good. So you can kind of keep it from rolling around on you. And then you're gonna get other connection points. Um, one that's gonna connect directly into the hose, and then the other end that's just gonna go right into this, this end of your actual like container area. And then we have, these are, oh wow, these are just a hard rubber, that's cool. So this is what's gonna shimmy onto, and I'll just pick this up and show you. It might get the cord over this way. Okay, so you got your surf prep, you got the adapter on, and then this guy is gonna just kinda shimmy down onto, and it goes on pretty snug and tight. So you don't have to worry about it coming off or any of that kind of jazz, and then this part connects into the hose, and I'll get to that here in a second. But. I just wanted to show you, but this is like a really, really strong hard rubber and they have all their stuff where it's just kind of pressed together kind of thing, except for obviously that adapter that screws on, makes it really easy. All right, so let's see what else. We got another wheel, we got the two front wheels, which will just pop on and I'll do that for you here in a second. And then another one of these really hard rubber Hose connector deals. All right, now what's in this? We got this bag has. Okay, so basically just how to put the wheels on. And it's gonna be just as easy as dropping them down in and clicking the back axle into place. So I'm not gonna need that anymore. And then down on the inside, you have the HEPA filters. We'll get more into that in future videos, but you can kind of see you just flipped it over. You have your water sensor, and then you have your hose that we need to grab out of here. And we're going to need to cut this off. So very carefully, without damaging my hose. Poke up through there and get that off of there. That's electrostatic something he was saying. I am not that smart, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I'm gonna read the directions and let it explain to me exactly what the meaning is behind the hose and what it does for me. Okay, so we'll set the hose off to the side. All right, flip this guy over, back over. Now, biggest thing is you have the little water sensor for when you're using a shop, uh, wet, dry, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure that you put that in without pinching it over and cutting it or doing anything bad to it. And again, it's going to set in here pretty snug and have a really good seal. So we're gonna latch that guy, latch that guy. All right, we're good. So now we're gonna flip it back over and get those wheels on. And again, we have the back axle. It's just gonna pop right in place. Let me turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna set it right down on here and pop it right into place, just like that. And then we have the two front wheels, casters with brakes push those down in place just like so oh, just like so like that this guy back over and that's really 
and there will be alters to it, to your initial setup. Now, obviously, you're going to want to put the bag in there and all that kind of jazz, and then I will most certainly go into more detail as to all the specs and things that this will have. But I wanted to show, let me see, where's the hose? Connect the hose up, okay? We'll do this really quick, and then it'll be the end of unboxing for this guy. So, you have, let's see here, this end. Let me remember how this goes. Oh, okay. Make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so we take the other hard rubber piece, right? And we're gonna go counterclockwise, obviously. Tighten it up really good. So if you didn't know, sir prep stuff, the hoses is counterclockwise. So if you're ever wondering why your hose keeps disconnecting, you haven't fully screwed it on correctly just yet. Okay, and then we have, okay, this end, right? Goes into here, and then this end is going to snugly get pushed all the way down until it's pretty good and flush like that. And this is not coming off. Like I said, this is a really hard rubber, um, really gives a great seal, strong. You're not gonna worry about it. It's gonna be durable, obviously. And then stick this in here. Has a swivel. That top part has a swivel, so that's great. And then we're gonna take this other end and just like we had, had done with the other beginning of the hose, we're gonna go in the opposite order. So it probably would have been smarter. So what I'm gonna do here, get that off first. Take this hose and again, counterclockwise, get it threaded just so. There we go. Like that. And then that adapter that goes on your surf prep has like little ridges. And then you're gonna just shove this down in here, down over those little ridges, just like so. And obviously that's good and snug because it takes a little bit of push to get it on there. And then there you have it. Uh, I don't remember exactly how long the hose was. Let me see if I have it on this documentation here somewhere. Do, 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 do. No, I don't see that. So, anyways, that's what you're going to get when you buy one of their brand new vacuums. It's eight gallon. It has a plug right here so you can plug it in. It has different modes, manual and automatic. Again, where you will have it when you have it plugged in. You start this, it starts it up. That's really cool. You can also, when you do dial it over to manual, you can decide on how much suction it goes up and down. There will be a blue light that comes on that tells you all that. It's a wet or dry vac. It's self-cleaning. There's a lot of different things to this. But tonight or today, I just really wanted to do a quick unboxing to show you exactly what you get. And then when I have an opportunity to play and test and do some other things, I'll get more into the exact details of, you know, how the manual dial works, automatic, plugging it in, what it looks like plugged in, what it sounds like, how loud or not loud it is. From what I understand, it's quite a bit quieter. And then this whole top part is where the toolbox can fit. I do not have one of those. I think I need to get one where you could have, or you can just kind of set your sander up here and then I understand that there's gonna be additional adapters and things coming in the future to kind of make this pimped out. So pimping out your vacuum a little bit more so you can have dual um, capabilities, having both sanders going on at once because some of us who are in the refinishing or whatever, you might use your five inch for parts and then your three and a half or three by four for other things. So that'll be an option coming. And then like I said, I'll get more into detail, more into depth about how it works, how you're actually setting things up a little bit more. Today, I really just wanted to share, you know, the enjoyment and the happiness of <laughs> me getting this to unbox and share with all you guys. And then it will be available one June. So if it's past one June, you can go to surfprep.com and go check it out. I'll put uh, the affiliate link in the video description for this for everyone. 
And just so you guys know, when you purchase through an affiliate link, whether it's through me or another surf prep team member or just another affiliate as a whole, you guys need to know that that truly does help someone's small business. For me, I definitely am a small business, retired Air Force guy, started painting furniture in my living room and it's grown here lately. And it's all because of those partnerships and things that I've had like with surf prep, like I do with Wise Owl and the other companies that helps me grow. So it helps me do content like this to help share information about products and how to's and also more information into how it actually functions and works and all that kind of stuff. So if you do happen to look at buying either a surf prep sanding system or the new vacuum, um, please check out my affiliate link in the video description down below and use it definitely does help me. I appreciate it very much. And that's going to be it for today. I hope everybody has a blessed day. And as always, happy painting.